Well, nationwide, it appears that we are finally getting a handle on this deadly virus. President Biden, as we've been saying, saying that all adults should have a chance by May to get the vaccine. So that is something that is going to be hopeful. We got some hope in this. And this weekend, spring break, along with the nice weather, look at this bird's eye view over Jacksonville Beach this afternoon. It's a long way from what the beaches look like just about a year ago. You remember that? Closed signs, empty beaches for miles when they were shut down due to the pandemic. And we know that lifeguards will be stationed in some spots this weekend. And on your side, Haley Harrison is joining us live now with what conditions our lifeguards are expecting this weekend. Well, Jeannie, this weekend, we're not just expecting sunshine. You know, Chris Porter, he has a pretty good assignment today at TPC, but I don't know if he has the best assignment because if you take a look around, people are enjoying the perfect beach weather today, taking full advantage. But the crowds this weekend are expected to grow with spring break and TPC, making social distancing more difficult. Jacksonville Beach Ocean Rescue will have at least four lifeguard towers up and other guards will be patrolling and vehicles. Captain Rob Emma Heiser says to keep six feet of space between groups and make sure to stay with your kids at all times so they don't get lost. Well, we expect large crowds. Uh, we're prepared for very large crowds and hopefully uh, a lot of people stay on the beach. Uh, the water is cold. There are some strong rip currents. Uh, we've had a, a few preventive actions where we call people away from rip current areas. Emma Heiser encourages beachgoers who want to swim to check the conditions before and swim near an on duty lifeguard. He also tells me that most of his EMTs and even some of his lifeguards have already received the COVID-19 vaccine. Now he hopes soon that they can all receive the COVID-19 vaccine because as the beaches get more crowded, we'll be interacting with more and more people. Live in Jacksonville Beach, I'm Haley Harrison, First Coast News on your side. Yeah, it looks beautiful out there. Thank you, Haley. And a quick